All right, hey, Hades Omega here. So this is gonna be the third video in my solar garage project, okay? And um, and it's kind of it's gonna be the kind of outline or kind of rough draft of uh, the off-grid solar charging system that I'm gonna build, okay? So for 2021, Hades Omegas. Well, okay, okay, okay. So so the way this all started, I I probably mentioned it in the earlier video. I wanted to charge my electric motorcycles with power of the sun okay and so that was you know that was just the first step and then and then i thought like yeah you know what why don't i just um why don't i just uh power my whole garage with with solar power you know um to, uh, with an off-grid solar ch power system and all that stuff so 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 yeah so it went from charging my electric bikes to charging to to powering the garage okay so i'm hoping that the that the system I build will be okay you know you can know I can always upgrade it later you know um, but what I heard from uh, from Will Prowse is it's better to have a bigger battery bank um, than to have more panels okay so it's uh, you don't necessarily have to have more panels if you have a large battery bank is what I want to say um, and and like the, the energy use in my garage is kind of you know it's not it's not set okay like whenever I'm in there working on stuff that's when I use power whenever somebody's doing laundry you know that kind of thing so because um, all the washers and dryers and stuff is in there I wouldn't be able to power the dryer because it's a it's running up a 240 though I would need two inverters for that that's what I learned so so uh, well I can power most of the stuff in my garage okay anyway I have made a diagram and I'm gonna show you uh, I'm gonna show you what the the plan is for now and um, it's kind of a it's a rough draft and it just you know it doesn't go into very much detail like you know what kind of rail racking I'm gonna use you know how how I'm gonna mount it the wiring and all that stuff all the all the little stuff uh, is, is is still uh, a work in progress <laughs> um, so when I get everything done we'll um, we'll go back to this and then uh, and then and then, and then we'll see what actually happened you know um, and, and I'll go through a cost breakdowns and all that stuff but this is a very rough um, draft okay okay let's check it out I know you guys are gonna love it watch this <laughs> all right ta-da look at this Hades Omega drew this up on MS Paint how do you guys like that man I know I probably could have should have used the uh, Photoshop but hey this does this does the job eh? good old MS Paint so here we go I'm gonna use Mr. Mousy here to just go over, I'm gonna do like a kind of like a PowerPoint thing almost. <laughs> so this is the Hades Omega Moto Solar Garage, all right? So that's uh, that's my that's my goal for 2021 is to power help power the garage with power from the sun, okay? Okay, um, so in the first video, I talked about the solar panels, okay? So I, I was able to buy two Jinko solar, um, solar panels, okay? They're 320 watts each times two so that gives me 640 watts I don't remember how old they are they're probably kind of old and they probably won't output you know as much power as they used to but 640 watts is what they put out okay so I'm planning to put them in series that would give me a total of around 45 volts um, so when you put two hmm, this is wrong <laughs> this is wrong Okay, don't pay attention to this. It's it should be more like uh, when you when you wire panels in series, it should increase the voltage and not the the current. Okay, so it's uh, each panel is yeah okay okay no that's that's almost right. I kind of did it. I I messed up on the equals. Okay, so anyway, so right here it says forty five volts and nine amps. Okay, that's that's from the um the sticker on the back of the solar panel is about how much power it puts out okay so if you wire them in series okay positive to negative right um you should have around 90 volts and 9 amps okay so i did this wrong this is actually parallel um the this one the the current goes up but not the volts okay it should be it should be 90 volts and about 9 amps okay so um, and that should be enough for our inverter. Okay, so the second thing, the second, um, so yeah, there's the panels. I'm planning to mount these panels on the roof next to my garage. Okay, that's that's where I think the best place to to, um, to have them 
uh, is because the uh, the roof is right next to the garage so I don't have to run the wire so long okay an alternative is I can make a rack in my backyard but that I would have to run a lot of wire for that I have to run it from the back of the house to the front of the house there'll be a lot of wiring and it'll look kind of janky okay I'm trying to make it look somewhat professional <laughs> okay guys um, also there is a uh, um, there's like a like this a column or it's called I think it's, I think it's called a trellis or something where you can put like you know like plants and stuff um, I could mount it on that and then um, and then run the wires to my garage also that's what I was thinking also but well we'll see I'm I'm think in the front of the house is really the best place to put it okay so that's where we're going to put our two panels they're going to be in series um, and I calculated if there it's 640 watts for the two panels and and you get about five hours of sunlight now this is not this is probably not right okay it's probably going to be less than this and that's like 3200 watts or 3.2 kilowatts all right is what that's going to generate in a day if you get a lot of sun okay um yeah so uh it's not necessarily going to generate 640 watts all the time so um probably for like two hours it will so so you gotta shoot for a little less than that uh i'm i'm kind of thinking i might need more panels it would be nice to have an extra like 200 watts or like more like an extra 300 watts would be nice okay so that that's the solar panels, and then and then uh, the in the second video I got the GrowWatt uh, all-in-one inverter. Okay, so this is a GrowWatt 24 volt, 3000 watt inverter. Okay, it can output 3000 watts continuous, I think, and it runs off of 24 volts. All right, um, so that's going to take the uh, the power from the solar panels, and then it's going to go into the inverter, and then it's going to go charge the battery. Okay, so. So here we go. The third, the I don't have it yet, but I have I have ordered it from AliExpress. Okay, so on uh, William, William Prouse made a video about how he made these with the, like a milk crate. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with the milk crate, but I'm gonna use a bigger milk crate. <laughs> he has those cube ones. I had the the rectangular one, but I'm gonna get these. Uh, I get, I bought eight of these Lysian or Eve cells. Okay, they're 3.5 volts. They're rated at 3.5 volts each pack or cell and 280 amp hours whoo yeah that's a lot of power dude I'm telling you and they're lithium iron phosphate batteries all right they're gonna be connected in series so that'll give me 24 volts and 280 amp hours okay so total um, total watt hours is 6720 watt hours Woo, that's a lot of power okay so just to give you an idea how much power that is my my impulse TT has a 10.5 kilowatt hour battery pack and my uh Soron light b has a like a two like a 2.2 kilowatt hour battery pack so this is enough to charge the light b like three times and this will probably be enough just to, to top off the impulse okay but unfortunately the impulse um is no is no longer um and uh, uh that, i'll talk about that in a different video <laughs> um but anyway uh, but yeah, I'll have the eight batteries, and they'll be connected in series. You see here, series, series. And then this is a, I'm going to get a Dali 8S 250 amp BMS, um, similar to the one that, that uh, Will Prouse uses um, for his milk crate. But this is going to be an 8S for eight batteries, okay? So, and then that 24 volt um, battery bank is going to be connected to the inverter okay so that all this is 24 volts so why did Hades Omega decide to go 24 volts I was planning to only do 12 volts I said like nah man come on go big or go home <laughs> type of thing so 24 volts if I'm running more volts that means we're we, we don't have to push as much amps okay or current uh, and then that you know I don't have to have such big wiring you know that's what I want to say so I, I wanted to I decided on 24 volts, an intermediate intermediate kind of voltage. The other one is like 48 volts, and and then I would need like double the batteries, like 16 of these batteries. So, so these batteries are badass, dude. Dude, you can charge, you can run this at 280 amps. Okay, that's that's, or you could charge them at 100, 280 amps, and you could probably discharge them faster than that. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I have to look at the data sheet when I get it. All right, and I'm thinking of maybe we'll probably have a fuse or a breaker connected to the battery when it's connected to the uh, the inverter. Okay, 
And then, so uh, if you guys remember from the 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 grow watt inverter video, uh, this is like an all-in-one dealie, and it has something called an automatic transfer switch. So this thing, this is the reason I bought this. All right, so when this battery bank gets depleted, okay, when it gets below a certain voltage, it's gonna stop drawing power from the uh, the batteries, and it's gonna switch over to grid power. Okay, so you can hook this up to the grid. Um, but it will not it won't back feed into the grid. Okay, and that's good I don't want that because I don't want to have to like, you know, I don't want to have to get a permit and all that that stuff Okay, so this is all like, you know home homemade stuff <laughs> I don't, I don't want to have to deal with permits and all that stuff and I and the good thing about this system It's kind of small. So if I if I ever move or whatever it, it won't be hard to move it somewhere else is what I'm gonna say I could easily put this stuff on like a van, you know, or RV or something. That's what I want to say. All right. Um, and then so from the inverter, it's going to uh, it's going to go. My plan is to get a breaker box, but in the in the meantime to test it, we're just gonna make like extension cords and stuff, just like just like in the the Bill Prowse videos. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try that first. I'm just gonna get an extension cord, cut it half, and then put the put the connectors on. Uh, to the directly to the inverter, but my plan is to uh, to mount this on the wall and then mount a breaker box right next to it. Okay, and then uh, yeah, and then and then the the AC out would go to the breaker box, the main. All right, and then there would be different breakers for different stuff in the garage. Okay, so I'm thinking one of them would be an EVSE. Okay, that's why I have EVSE here. That's a, a electric vehicle charging. A, power supply equipment <laughs> it's, it's it's something like that it's a power supply for our electric vehicle okay um, I would have a separate circuit for that okay because that's you know um, you don't want to run it with anything else you'll you'll blow the breaker so um, and it'll be like 15 amps you know 120 volts and then I can run my washer to it and then everything else in the garage so I'll probably maybe two more breakers one more for one side of the garage and one for the other side of the garage and then uh, yeah and then that way, you know, if we're run, if we're pulling too much power for the wiring, it'll it'll blow the breaker. So, he's making us try not to start any fires or anything. Okay, so that's the kind of that's kind of the rough draft right there. Okay, um, and uh, I don't have the the racking, all that stuff. Um, I still have to buy like the board to hold all this stuff, and the breaker box, all that stuff. There's still a lot of stuff to be uh, to be purchased for this um, system but uh yeah I got pretty much uh that's the idea right there and it's the the Hades Omega Moto Solar Garage I, how you like that right <laughs> it's so uh it's so make Microsoft Paint I love it man and uh and yeah so so what I also this here is like this is what I calculated um it would take 2.1 days to fully charge this battery bank okay if the if it was kind of sunny out all right it, more or less two days so so uh, we probably have to rely on this grid power still okay but I, I'm just gonna test this out you know I feel if if I can't charge the battery enough it depend it depends on my usage okay it depends on my usage if if there's a little more usage than you know than uh, what I'm expecting then I it'd probably be a good idea to add another 200 or 300 watts worth of um, solar panels to offset that okay but but like like I said, the the energy usage in my garage it, it varies a lot. So, um, and uh, and yeah, and then I'm gonna be using it to charge the light me, I guess. Since that's the only bike I got now. All right, so that's the plan. Okay, so that's the plan. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. That so this is the third video, and it's like uh, it's just kind of like the rough draft outline of all the goodies. Okay, so that's that's the system I'm planning to build. And I, I hope, uh, and depending on like how much power I need, uh, I can add more solar panels is what I'm thinking. I, I could add more batteries, but yeah, I spent a lot of money on the batteries already. I haven't, I, yeah, I didn't go over all the costs yet. So the costs, I will go over the costs once I get everything up and running. And then we'll go over all the stuff, like all the hardware, all, you know, how much I paid for the solar panels. And the, I actually, sh I should have added costs to that that outline I might do that after but um, but I will add on to that outline is what I'm gonna do okay and then we'll have a you know cost analysis of all the hardware and the wiring and you know the the 
the wood and I got the crate for free, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. All right, so um, it's, he doesn't make us never done anything like this before and I, I'm pretty excited. I always wanted to get into the, you know, renewable energy thing. Like, yeah, see, I see, you can see my t-shirt here, right? I went to San Jose State. Well, one, some of my projects um, or or presentations that I did in college were, were on renewable energy, you know, like hydroelectricity, geothermal, um, solar, wind turbines, that kind of stuff. I, d I did research on that kind of stuff. And then, and now I'm actually getting to like do that stuff to my home. So um, it, it's gotten to the point where like the batteries and the solar panels are like, you know, they're they're cheap they're like do do it yourselfers can pretty easily do it you know before it's like it's so expensive you know you gotta you gotta like sell your kidneys just to like freaking put solar panels on your house <laughs> so i'm trying to do it for as cheap as possible and i don't want to have anything to do with the with the you know the power grid um the, the only the only grid power that we're going to use is when when the batteries are depleted okay and that's what that that inverter is going to do um so it's going to be a totally separate off grid okay that's what they call off it's going to be a t separate system from the the grid energy okay and so basically it's just going to offset the our energy use okay or at least the use in the garage i could i could pretty easily build another one of these systems for another room in the house okay or i could run more wiring somewhere else you know um, if i wanted to you know power the the living room or something or i could run a wire up to my room and charge my or run my computers off of it that kind of thing so um, yeah, so it's scalable. It's definitely scalable. So if I wanted to to power more rooms, I could, or I can just build another system for another part of the house. It, it's so cool, man. All this that. Well, the the trick stuff is the ad automatic transfer switch. I didn't know about that until I watched Bill Prowse's video. I'm like, whoa, that's cool. And like the the power company won't ever know that you know you're you you've got a solar panel system, you know, because because you're just not. You're just not using power from them. You're using power that you generated. All right, pretty cool. So, so yeah, that that's the project for Hades Mega Moto Garage this year, and and a bunch of other projects. All right, here's what we got. Thanks for watching.